what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? Kyrie Irving was neither seen nor heard at the Brooklyn Nets' home game on Sunday, but the effects of his refusal to get vaccinated was on full display. Ahead of the game, a large group of vaccine mandate protesters appeared outside the Barclays Center demanding that Kyrie be allowed to play NBA games again even though he is barred from only Nets home games due to New York protocols, the Nets have announced that Kyrie will not play until the situation is resolved. Wearing shirts reading slogans such as stand with Kyrie and chanting, let Kyrie play. The crowd soon turned aggressive and stormed past the barricades outside of the arena. Newsday Barbara Barker reported that the people included Black Lives Matter and dun, 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 Donald Trump supporters. Wow. Wow. Someone also reported that they heard a reference to January 6th, talking about storming something, right? Donald Trump supporters and Black Lives Matter. Hmm. What do y'all think about that, fam? Now, here's the thing. It is amazing what two opposing groups can do when they have a common objective. Hmm. So, the common objective being that both are against mandates, but not all. In fact, now that I think about it, I really haven't seen a lot of anti-vax BLM supporters. I think a great deal of BLM supporters support getting the vax. Yeah, let me know if I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe my data is a little off. I'm, I don't know, but I don't think it is, but let me know if I'm wrong, fam. In any event, that is something to see. I wonder did Donald Trump know about this? Because I know Donald, Donald is one of those type of guys who, 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 who wakes up every morning thinking about how he can like reinvent white supremacy. How can he make it better? Like, you know, like reinforce it, so to speak. My thoughts, I do believe. Kyrie, stand up, dude. I know that ultimately the decision is his, what he wants to do. The thing is, fam, is that Kyrie is not anti-vax. He's anti-mandate. So that means he could change his mind. See, I'm I'm not really anti-vax myself. I'm anti-mandate. I believe in letting people do what they want to do with their own body. See, what's funny is some of the same people who believe in the mandate don't believe in the government telling women what to do with their own bodies. Because that's exactly what they're doing when they try to make people take this shot. They're telling people what to do with their own bodies. I think your body, your choice. You know, we can go back and forth, fam, but ultimately everybody's going to believe what they want to believe. You know, what makes you think your information is correct? Because the people that say, well, you know, the doctor said it, the experts, and you ain't talking to medical examiners, all you Google doctors. And, nah, man, there have been plenty of doctors, plenty, plenty of people who went to school for this, plenty of people who study this, plenty of people who have said that ain't cool. There's been many people. But 
So why is it that the people who is for it is right and the people who is against it is wrong? Sounds to me like it's a matter of opinion. A lot of people talk about it's a matter of a matter of of science. You know, science backs it. But again, man, you can find damn near as many doctors who is against it and says that the data does not substantiate the claims as you can for those who is for it. Kyrie, we appreciate you, brother. A soldier. That's right. It ain't nothing like a man who stands for something. And look, just like he he has a choice to not take it. He reserves the right to take it if that's what he wants to do. I just appreciate somebody who stands for something these days because there's so many robots out here. There's so many people out here, man, that just go with the crowd, just go along to get along. There's so many sheep. I mean, think about it, fam. Everybody dressed the same. Everybody wear the same hairstyles. You know, if somebody, you know, change this or add this, everybody doing the same thing. You know, all the women got like two or three hairstyles and all the dudes got two or three hairstyles. Everybody got the same, everybody just, just a bunch of robots. People wear their clothes the same way. They go buy the same kind of clothes. They wear them the same way. People got the same lingo, say the exact same thing. Every time a new word come around, everybody saying the same word. It's just a bunch of robots. So I can appreciate individualism. Kyrie Irving, you all right with me, brother? No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.